Our next implementation is an inclusive scan that was popularized in a 1986 paper by Danny Hellis and Guy Steele, who are two really interesting people. Danny Hillis founded a company that built a massively parallel computer called The Thinking Machine, which had scan as one of its core primitives and awesome looking blinky lights. He designed it for AI applications and said that his goal was to build a computer that was proud of him. At Thinking Machines, he worked with Guy Steele, who developed the Scheme programming language at MIT and later was one of the core developers of Java. Anyway, back to scan and this particular algorithm, the easiest way to show it is simply to draw it. So we're going to start with an input array that's simply the numbers 1 to 8. So the first stage of this algorithm involves adding yourself to your namer 1 away. So for instance, 1 plus 2 is going to give you 3. 2 plus 3 is going to give you 5 and so on. Then we come back to the beginning and anything that doesn't have a left neighbor, we just copy its value down. Stage two is going to involve adding yourself to your neighbor two to the left. So let's see how that's gonna work. One plus five gives you six, three plus seven gives you 10 and so on. And again, if you don't have a neighbor two to the left, then you just copy your value down. Final stage, now you're going to add yourself to your neighbor four to the left. So we add one and 14 giving us 15, we add 3 and 18 and give us 21, and so on. And again, if you don't have a neighbor 4 to the left, then you'll just copy your own value down. And now, take a look at what we got. This bottom row here is the inclusive scan of the top row here. So what's the algorithm that we used here? Starting with step 0, here's the steps here. On step i, your job at each location is to add yourself to your neighbor to the left, 2 to the i hops away. So here one hop away, here two hops away, and here four hops away. And if you don't have a neighbor that far to the left, you just copy yourself from the previous iteration. So as a quiz, let's analyze the complexity of this computation. So as a function of n, the input size, how much work are we going to do in this algorithm, and how many steps is it going to take? 